What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. Uh, a real quick one today, just because the UN, the UN is tripping. Of course, the UN's tripping. There's the UN has more corruption allegations than FIFA. The hashtag COVID nineteen pandemic is demonstrating what we all know. We all know this. Remember, we all know this. Millennia of patriarchy have resulted in a male-dominated world with a male-dominated culture which damages everyone, women, men, girls, and boys. This is the time to rebuild more equal, inclusive, and resilient societies, said UN Security General Antonio Gutierrez. No. Fuck you. I think that's silly that the the COVID-19, first of all, the, the, the COVID-19 pandemic demonstrated that, that we live in a patriarchy. Uh, press X to doubt. If anything, the COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated that there are forces at work here who would love to dominate and control and suppress the entire world. Whether they are all male, I, you know, I don't know. If they're all male, why were they working with Hillary? If they're all male, how come Marina Abramovich and Lady Gaga is a part of them? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I guess I understand. But what is funny, if you check out these comments, maybe it's like Twitter is catered to me, so it's like it's showing me comments that it thinks I would like. But what's crazy is that Elijah Wright, this is the guy that we saw on the Riot highlight videos from L.A., they seek to eliminate medical autonomy by forced vaccinations, freedom of exchange by creating a cashless society, and ridicule American nationalism, traditionalism, while they propose a nihilistic one-world government. We stand in their way and they won't win. Trump 2020. Defund the UN. Defund the UN. Thank you for admitting there are only two genders. Ow! Gotti! <laughs> In a male-dominated world with a male-dominated culture which damages everyone. Women, men, girls, and boys. Only two genders there, UN. Shit, I could have swore you guys were all about the, like... There's more genders than there are Pokemon. It's a good... And, and if we run out of, of genders, we'll just make another region. Yeah, I don't know. I think the UN sucks. I think that the United Nations is just a global New World Order attempt. I think that maybe in theory, the idea could be good, but what happens in a lot of times in the UN, you can look into it, the people get put in those positions without being elected. So there's unelected officials making decisions on global trade and policies like that for nations that don't have a lot of say. It's kind of nonsense. Also, if you ever look at their the UN logo, I would be remiss if I didn't point this out. People say that the UN logo is a shout out to Flat Earth because it, it doesn't have Antarctica and it's centered around the North Pole and everything goes out and then there's these wall, the ice wall. <laughs> people, some, some people say that. I just figured I'd point it out. Um, so I'm on the fence. I'll say just because, just because, hey, don't, don't call me crazy for not believing either or. I don't have a Vimana. I don't have a device that would allow me to fly up in the air and go fly to Antarctica and fly to the North Pole and back. If I had that, then I would know for sure, 100% probably, 95% probably about the shape of the earth. But because I don't have that, I at least have to admit that the only reason why I would believe either or is because I've been told to believe either or based on this reason, that reason, that reason. And this guy has this reason, that reason, that reason. And this guy says this reason, stupid. And this guy says this reason, stupid. We're not talking about Flat Earth. We're talking about the UN. Sorry, I digress. We're talking about whether or not the, a millennia of patriarchy have resulted in a male-dominated world with a male-dominated culture which damages everyone. I'll, I'll throw this out there. If, time, if the timeline is official, like what we've been told, you know, if we have cavemen slowly build, make figure out agriculture, slowly build, you know, cities build, tribes, cities, states, empires, et cetera, et cetera. And if, if, if that's the case, then the only way society could ever form to begin with, wouldn't it be because there was men protecting the village? 
Do we have a lot of cases of women protecting the villages while men stayed home and nursed? The only reason why we have this sort of, uh, you call it a luxury of people perhaps being, you could say, uh, the different sexual orientations, why we have the luxury of, of men staying at home and women going to work, things like this, is because we've advanced technology to a point where we can supersede our natural biological limitations. And the natural biological limitations remove all of technology and you have women giving birth and then raising children and then nurturing them, you know, with their, their bodies change. They're not built to defend against lions and other tribes attacking them. They're just not. That's not what they're built for. The men were built for that. So you could suggest that, yeah, there was a millennia of patriarchy that resulted in the modern world itself. Now, of course, uh, the, the goal, I think, with all of these things, with, with progress or progressivism, because I'm a progressive, I want to change things for the better, I'm all about that. I'm also a liberal, and I'm conservative. The goal, I think, is to not overcorrect into any one direction. So sure, we've, we've had a lot of over uh, male-dominated avenues. For sure, women were oppressed in the, in the decently recent past. However, we have to be careful that we don't overcorrect in the opposite direction. And now suddenly, like, we've removed everything that made men good, and we call that toxic. That's that's not going to lead to a happy town, I'll tell you that much. That's going to lead to, that you're going to take the fast exit off the freeway to darkness town. And you don't want to live in darkness town. Shout out California, which the sky has been clouded. So, well, what do you guys think? Do you think men, women, boys, and girls are being damaged by a millennia of patriarchy? Is our world dominated by men? Which is funny because if anyone is like dominating the world, it would be places like the United Nations. So it's like the United Nations comes out and says like the world is dominated by men. It's like what, what you you're the one trying to dominate the world. You're the one trying to have a new world order. And this is where things like nationalism, like having a uh, heritage and traditional traditions of your own culture, having different cultures is awesome. I love that. Look at an Overwatch character select screen. It's like the Olympics. It's like, oh, look at this guy. Look where he's from. Oh, cool. Look where he's from. Oh, that's so cool. Everybody's from different places. But if we have a new world order, it's kind of not, we're going to lose a lot of a lot of that. And it's going to get replaced with things like toxic femininity. We're not really talking about toxic femininity. Everybody wants to talk about toxic masculinity because I guess men are scary and men have power, physical power. They could physically dominate other people. That's their... That's their loadout stat. That's the class that they've been born into, the loadout class. Women also have power, but I feel as if women's power has been dramatically taken from them or skewed in a way where they're told that women's power comes from expressing their sexuality. When I would suggest that that actually limits their power because their power, in my opinion, comes from their, their nurturing, their beauty, their ability to... It, it's almost like... If men are, are Sauron, they're powerful, pure power. Women are like Frodo. And you, it might sound shitty like, no, I don't want to be Frodo, I want to be Sauron. No, it's okay, think about it. Because Frodo is, is like a circle. It's like Frodo is the only character that could destroy Sauron. The strongest could not destroy. Gandalf can't defeat Sauron in a head-to-head -head fight. No one can. And if Gandalf took the ring, Gandalf would be the next Sauron. He would be just as corrupted. It takes a woman, not necessarily a woman, but it takes that feminine energy to, or I guess it doesn't take that, but it, a better way to say it would be that feminine energy can be used to affect a male. It's like a back and forth. It's like the man dominates the physical world and the woman can dominate the spiritual world. And using that together, you create this nice yin yang. And this is my personal philosophy. So by, by all means, I could be ridiculous and take it with a grain of salt. But I think that toxic femininity is things like wet ass pussy. I think nobody's, I mean, there are people talking about that, but like not enough people like the United Nations are pointing that shit out. Where's Gillette's ad talking about, hey, Cardi B, could you put some clothes on? Have you seen TikTok recently? You, it's sad. Like literally, I, I would be afraid to get TikTok just because of how much blatant softcore child pornography exists on there, child exploitation. It's insane. Look at the comments. It's absurd. TikTok, in my opinion, has cooked books, cooked numbers, and it just has a bunch of creepy dudes that they know what they're doing. And it's it's sad that a few 
numbers on your screen can influence you to make crazy decisions. So the United Nations thinks that the patriarchies made this male dominated world and what's their solution to it? I don't know. What do you guys think? I I'm probably digressing way too hard. What do you guys think about the patriarchy? What do you guys think about toxic masculinity, toxic femininity? What do you think? Uh, more importantly, what I honestly care more about is what What are your opinions on where women's true power comes from? Because I'm a dude, so I'm obviously not going to be able to understand it fully or like get close, I guess. But I would like to know. I'm, it's a topic that I think would be important. And if we could figure that out, we could then create more media and art to reflect that and put that out into the public zeitgeist so that we could help uh, more women become more empowered and not uh, become hoes. So take care. Peace. All right, call your mom, be a good person. If you support independent investigative journalism, or whatever, you can check the description. Got Patreon. Peace. Thank you.